It's easy to confuse the Havanese with the Shih Tzu, since those two breeds look very similar. But there are some important differences between those two breeds. In this video, I will tell you what are the similarities and differences between the Shih Tzu and the Havanese. I will divide this video into five categories – appearance, temperament, grooming, health and history. Let's start with the appearance. The Havanese and Shih Tzu look very very similar together. The most distinctive feature of both breeds is the long silky fur. I would say that the Havanese coat is less flowy and more matted. The Shih Tzu coat is also a little bit denser. Both breeds are no to low shedding dogs. One way how you can recognize these two breeds apart is their tail. The Havanese tail curls over their back in a fold, but the Shih Tzu tail held right over their back but never touching the back. Both breeds have almost identical height which is between 20 to 26 cm which is 8 to 10 inches. Shih Tzus are sometimes a little bit heavier. Their weight is between 4 to 8 kg which is 9 to 18 pounds. The Havanese weight is between 3 to 6 kg which is 7 to 14 pounds. The last difference is their gait. The Shih Tzu gait can be described as smooth and effortless, while the Havanese gait is oftentimes described as springy. It's because the Havanese have a little bit shorter front legs than the back legs. So as you can see, the appearance is almost identical. Those are very very similar breeds that are hard to recognize apart. And now let's talk about the temperament. It's true that both are affectionate, active and loving family companions, but the Shih Tzu is much more independent and stubborn dog. It doesn't mean that they are better or worse than the Havanese, it's all about personal preferences, but the Havanese is definitely easier to train. Actually, Havanese can easily manage to learn a lot of different tricks and in the past they were even used as skilled circus dogs, while Shih Tzu needs a lot of repetition to nail a trick. On the other hand, thanks to the independence of Shih Tzu, it's easier to leave them home alone and they can even play alone. The Havanese is more needy and they will want your attention all the time. They also suffer more from the separation anxiety. The Havanese is also, let's say, more clownish and mischievous. When it comes to grooming, both breeds are very high maintenance dogs. They need frequent brushing to keep their coat in good condition. The fur also needs to be trimmed and kept out of the eyes. A neglected coat will quickly turn into a disastrous matted mess. The Havanese coat tends to get a little bit more matted, so if you are not having a show dog, then it might be a little bit easier, but really only a little bit easier, to maintain the Shih Tzu coat. If you are looking for a long living companion, then both breeds, Shih Tzu and Havanese, is a great choice. Both dogs typically live over 13 or 14 years. The Shih Tzu lifespan should be between 10 to 16 years and the Havanese lifespan is between 13 to 15 years. Sadly, both breeds commonly suffer from some health issues. Shih Tzu is prone to brachycephalic syndrome, eye problems and intervertebral disc disease. The Havanese suffer from patella luxation, leg calf pertes disease, heart murmur and portosystemic shunt. Shih Tzu and Havanese might be similar, but their history is totally different. Both breeds are very old and it's believed that the Shih Tzu history can trace back hundreds of years to Tibetan monks. We are not sure about the certain ancestry, but it's believed that they were developed from Lhasa Apso and Pekingese. The Havanese originated on the other side of the planet. This breed comes from Cuba and they are part of the Bichon family. Their ancestry can be traced to all Tenerife dog breeds, just like all the Bichons. Tell me in comments if you are more a Shih Tzu person or a Havanese person, which one do you own and what is your experience with the dog? If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on, check our Instagram, Facebook links are in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.